I'm just comment reading and um, um, she doesn't realize that everything she has told him about her ex-husband says a lot about her character and he'll think, but she used to love Chris and look at how she treats him. She would do the same to him. He did not want to have a kid by her, with her. That's why he was crying so much. Facts. My question is, I always wanted to know this. Why did she tell Clarence that Chris was adopted? Nobody knew that. Why did she feel it was necessary or what was she trying to accomplish when she told Clarence that Chris was adopted? Why did she feel like that information was necessary for him to know? And then he goes on the internet and exposes it like a little hoe. But it came right back to bottom in the behind because he's basically like on the internet as a pedophile. So it came back to bite him. You know what I'm saying? You do evil, you get it back. Okay, he's adopted. That's fine. That's a good thing. But being a pedophile or being called a pedophile, terrible. So it came back full circle. It bit him in the behind for him being messy, being a girl. But I just wanted to know what was the purpose of that? So when you say like she has told him about her, everything that she's told, you know, this dude about her ex-husband. Yes, the dude is looking at you like if you could violate your ex-husband like that and tell me all his secrets and I'm releasing it to the world. I can't trust you. You're not a trustworthy female because you'll tell all my secrets if you get mad. You know, chicks, I mean, I don't I don't know. I don't think she's I think she's truly slow. I really do. I I honestly believe with all my heart that this girl does not have a clue about life. She just does not know because what because if she put herself in these people's shoes, Chris's shoes, if you basically are if a dude is revealing to you everything about his um baby mother or his ex-wife and is slandering her, I would feel like well, as a man, you know, that's still your baby mother. That's still your ex-wife. There has to be some level of respect. Why are you telling me this? And this is a new relationship we're starting. So, like, why are you informing me so much about your ex? Why are you still talking to me about your ex? That's how you know she wasn't over Chris. Because why are you telling this dude about Chris? This is a new relationship. You should be focused on your crush. You should be focused solely on him. But you taking Chris into your new relationship. So, you're not, you were never, oh, she was never over Chris. And so she's bitter and she's taking his son, revealing that he's adopted. But my thing is the adoption thing. I just wanted to know what's wrong with being adopted. I just want to know what what, 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 was, what was what's the issue? Like, what I just don't understand. Like, comment down below and tell me why was it necessary or what was the cause or reason for her revealing that? Like, did she want people to say mean things, you know, like, um, you know, mean things about being adopted? Is that what she wanted? Because being adopted is a beautiful thing. That's Chris's mom point blank, period. Just because you have a child or push the child out doesn't make you a mother. Like, I'm sure Chris didn't, Chris's mom did not abandon him, you know, to chase after a man for a whole year or a music career. I'm sure that she never left Chris sick, you know, stranded, you know, wherever and didn't care and was chasing after men. I'm sure Chris's mom didn't do that. That's his mother. But you push out a baby, a whole baby by yourself, and the baby's sick. Okay, and you leave to go be with a man, a boy, actually. You leave to go have sex with a dude in a basement and you leave your sick son. And then you abandon him for like a whole year, for real, approximately, to pursue music and to take care of this man and his whole family. You're not a mother. So I don't understand what was the point of you revealing that. I don't get it. Because she's more of a mother than you could ever be. Just because you push out a child don't make you a mother. And just because there's a lot of egg donors and sperm don donors out there in the world. And she's an egg donor. There's a lot of egg donors and sperm donors. My father's a sperm donor. His queen is an egg donor. Like that, just because you push out a child or squeeze out nut out of your balls does not make you a parent. Point blank, period. There's, there's parents that biologically are deadbeats. Hence, Queen Nyjah. You know what I'm saying? Like, who does that? A whole year and the baby was with Chris 95% of the time. So like, girl, comment down below and tell me. So basically all in all, everything she's done has only really, like you said, honest daily, honestly, everything she's done has only shown her character. It only shows to Clarence that she's not trustworthy. He, he, he can't tell her his deepest secrets because she'll go and blast it if she gets mad. He already peeped that. Because of how she treated Chris. And she doesn't even realize that 
Everything she did to Chris only made her look bad to Clarence. Because everything you do to one man, the other man is going to be like, well, if she could do that to her husband, then she could definitely do, violate me. So he's going to be very, very cautious. He's that's why he's that's why he treats her the way that he treats her. He don't like her. I wouldn't like her either. It's like, first of all, you funny looking at least have a beautiful heart. No, that ain't there either. Just ugly all across the board. And he don't fool with her. The way he feel about her is that Father's Day video when she came in that closet and the way he was looking at her. That's exactly how he feels about her. Disgust. Because she's disgusting inside out completely. Because I don't know what was the purpose of revealing that. And I'm going to react to an old video of Chris's sisters. You know, I never reacted. It's a lot of videos I never reacted to, but I'm going to react to it. But comment down below and tell me why does she feel, why does she feel it was necessary to say that? Why was she like, what was she trying to accomplish? What were you trying to do, sis? It came back to bite you at the end of the day. But what was the purpose what were you trying to accomplish? What was the goal? Bitter Betty, what was the goal? <laughs> Girls be so, I'm telling you, when chicks get mad and, and when they're bitter, they will do anything. They will say anything. They will say anything to make you look terrible. They'll just slander you all day because they're bitter. Because I don't get it. What's wrong with being adopted? One. And number two, why did Clarence need to know that? And why did she want to reveal that? What is? And number three, if you're in a new relationship, why are you talking about your ex? Oh, I know. Because you're not over Chris. That's why. Bingo. And she's still not over Chris because she's keeping the baby. Because she's bitter. Because Chris don't want her. And so she's still keeping the baby. And Chris still hasn't got his son yet. Because why? She's mad. Let that hurt go.